The year 2019 marks the 40th anniversary of the Grenada Revolution. It began in March 1979 when Sir Eric Gehry's Grenada United Labour Party was overthrown by the new dual movement-led People's Revolutionary Army. Maurice Bishop was installed as Prime Minister of the People's Revolutionary Government. During his time as Prime Minister, Bishop, intending to boost the island's tourism product, received aid from the Soviet Union and Cuba and constructed an aircraft runway. This relationship with known communist countries concerned United States President Ronald Reagan. Around the same time, Bishop's second-in-command, Bernard Cord, held contrasting views on the leadership of Grenada, and this eventually led to the splintering of the party. In October of 1983, Bernard Cord led a coup and had Maurice Bishop placed under house arrest. Bishop and several government ministers were later executed. Spurred into action by this political unrest, the United States, Barbados, Jamaica and Dominica staged the military intervention called Operation Urgent Fury. All right, my name is Colvin Cozier and uh, my rank at the time was the Lance Corporal. And, uh, Obviously, I was a member of the Barbados Defense Force. I joined uh, the force uh, about two years prior to the event. And um, it was kind of interesting um, because leading up to um, the event that actually took place on the 25th, Prior to that, um, we had been seeing news footage and whatnot happening about the happenings in Grenada. And uh, when we were asked to volunteer, I simply said, yes, I will go because I felt there was a need for the persons in, in Grenada to be kind of relieved from the suffering they were going through. And, and had some kind of peace of mind. Uh, that's basically it. I was, at the time, 23 years old. Uh, just turned 23 the month before, actually. And a young man uh, ready, in my mind at the time, unwilling to take on anything you know, he's young, had no fear, although on that particular day, there was fear because he actually didn't know what you were getting into or what, you know, what the circumstances would be. Did they prepare you? Did they give you an idea of what you would be going to face? Of course, we, 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 we always did training in Barbara's Defense Force and uh, leading up to Grenada intervention, we were, we went through some intensive training for a period of time. So we knew, we knew, at least I knew, that um, we were actually heading into a war zone and uh, things were really, it was real. And uh, yes, we knew what to look for in a sense. Can you walk me through what you saw when you landed in Grenada? Well, prior to landing in Grenada, the C-130 that we, we came, we taxied down in, um, apparently it, it, it got hit by some kind of small arms fire. It was in a large fire, I don't think it was in a large caliber rounds. And I heard the, um, the, the pilot saying, well, we're going in hot. So uh, the, the plane landed, the C-130 landed on, on, on the runway and um, we had to disembark, if I remember clearly. The plane didn't actually stop on the runway. It just slowed to a very minimum slow pace, and we just exited out through the back. Uh, as soon as I get out the, the, the aircraft, uh, the airport was massive. It was a massive airport, long stretch, but however... Point Salines. Point Salines, right. Point Salines Airport, right. And um, there was mud everywhere. Apparently, I don't know if the rain had fallen the night before <coughs> or what, but that morning we landed in, and uh, it was it was it was lots of mud around. 
I, I, well, you can probably tell who uh, probably was um, because of the, the, the airport was still under construction or it was something deliberate. I don't know to slow us down. I, I don't know, but yeah. So we got off the plane and we, we, we did, our, made our, did our tactical maneuvers and whatnot in order to, to safeguard ourselves. And uh, we were there. We waited for a period of time and then we were given orders to move to another location. So my research, um, I found the pictures and things that it was, the place was actually bombed. Were you there at the time when the bombing had happened? Yes, yes. When we landed, there were gunfire going off uh, to the, as I can remember, to the right of me. There were also artillery fire firing from the airport itself to some area somewhere in hills, further up in hills. There was artillery fire going off. Um, the Americans obviously were, were bombing that particular stretch and you could have seen and heard gunfire in that in that area too. Yeah, so there was there was there was a firefight going on. So how long were you in Grenada for? I spent uh, maybe about a month on my first tour. Yeah, just about a month on my first tour. Mm -hmm. Don't remember. Uh, about maybe about four or five tours. Okay. That's the first time. How do you feel like you were received as a Barbadian in Grenada? Oh well, the people in of Grenada were welcoming us. They were they were happy that you know that we were there, and they were happy that um, we. They probably felt a sense of security that uh, the Caribbean peacekeeping forces were there. Um, obviously, we had duties to perform, and um, and uh, some of those duties were were actually entail actually mingling with and, and and with the general population as such. And I say mingling in the sense of. Uh, providing security for certain areas where um, the, the, the citizens will have to pass through as well. So yes, we did. In, we had a lot of interaction with with the civilian population. And when Bishop was under house arrest, you were there at that time. No, okay. no, that happened that before. For that happened okay. before we land. Okay. Yeah, because so you went in understanding that all of that had already happened. Mm -hmm. Yes, all that had already happened. Like I said before, um, when we taxied on the runway, the Americans were already there. They were already doing their thing, and yeah. And it was it was an active it was an active, for lack of a better word, war zone for the entire month that you were there. Not for the entire month, no, no, not for the entire month. Uh, the 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 actual fighting only lasted about three days or so. Only about three days. So by by the twenty ninth by the twenty ninth of uh, of of October, um, the fighting has pretty much been over, and you probably was still getting a little sporadic gunfire, you know, but it was nothing compared to what it was in the early stages.